Good morning, Cougars. Today we're going to be drawing a baby Eeyore. We're going to start in the middle of our paper by going up, over to the right, and down. We're going to start with Eeyore's head. This is the top of Eeyore's head, and this is a baby Eeyore. We're going to go on the left-hand side, come down, around, and stop in the middle. Go to the right-hand side, touch the end, around, and to the middle. It makes almost like a gumdrop shape for his head. On the left-hand side, we're going to drop down, loop back, and touch the side of his cheek for his left ear. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Now remember, if your ears are a little bit different, that's perfect. Maybe his ear is laying different on one side than the other. We're going to go down and do the inside, come down and over, just to show where his ear is folding over on the edge. Remember, if you get behind, go ahead and pause it so that you can catch up. Now on the top, we're going to go up and over. And we're going to just do his little hair on top. Add that zigzag pattern in between the bottom of that curved line. And then we're going to use our pencil or Sharpie or whatever you're using and go ahead and shade that in. All right. Now, let's go inside and we're going to draw two ovals for his eyes. And we're going to spread them apart just a little bit. Make one on the left and one on the right. On the bottom of each of those ovals, we're going to come in with a little curved line. So we're going to start on the left hand side of each oval, bring it down, and just over towards the bottom right hand side. We're going to add our shine circles, so draw those little circles in so his eyes are nice and shiny, the lights reflecting off of them, and then shade in just the top part of the eye around the reflection. There you go. There he is. All right. So we're going to come underneath our eyes. After they're all filled in, and we're going to go to the left side of our face. We're going to do a wavy line that comes under the left eye, goes up, waves up, waves back down, and over to the right hand side. That's going to separate the top part of his head to his nose area. Draw a little line right between the eyes down to the bottom, and then two straight lines for some stitching on your nose. We're now going to do his two nostrils. So we'll start on the right side. It's almost a sideways teardrop shape. So you're going to touch it, go out, do a little U-turn, and come back. All right, so let's go underneath. We're going to draw two lines to the left and to the right. Our Eeyore is sitting down today. So after we draw the two curved lines, we're going to draw two little straight lines there that are at a little bit of an angle. Then we're going to come down on each side with a straight little line. We're going to come towards the center of the body on each side with an angled line. Two straight lines. And then connecting those straight lines, we're going to touch and we're going to go up and over and do a little curved line, a little flat rainbow shape. Now, straight underneath that line, we're going to draw some stitching underneath the line that is on his face, right down the center. For his little arms, we're going to draw what looks like a little angled U shape. You're going to come down, go across, and then back up. All right, so remember, we always do a horizon line, but today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to draw a line right underneath him. Then we're going to come down, 
on each side, we're going to draw our ER on a crate or a box. And then we're going to connect those lines along the bottom. Good job, guys. Now, inside that shape, we're going to draw a smaller rectangle. So, we are going to take our Sharpie or pencil, go straight across, bring it down, go straight across again, and then connect those lines. So this is forming the frame of our crate. It's a wooden box, and we're going to draw some diagonal lines now, just in the center of the smaller rectangle. So all the way across, go ahead and fill those in. There we go, we're bringing it to life now. Now we wanna make sure our crate isn't floating in the middle of space, so we're gonna draw another line right behind it to show that Eeyore and the crate is grounded. Now guys, go ahead and get whatever colors you're using, watercolors, paints, markers, get creative, make it special, make it your own. I love you guys, I'm so happy that I get to do this with you. I love you and miss you, and I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day.